No dock warrants are officially banned for the Colleen Police Department. This after the city council voted six to one last night. Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza. She's in the studio tonight. Noelle, this is a big deal for the city and its residents. That's right, Adam. In a seven year span, the Colleen Police Department issued 81 no knock warrants that resulted in 13 injuries, seven homeowners and six officers and two deaths, one citizen and one officer. City council members say enough is enough. All in favor of, of the motion for to approve OR 21-006, please raise your right hand. Both hands. All right. All those in opposition, please raise your right hand. Motion carries six to one with Mr. Harris in opposition. So thank you. In a six to one vote, no knock warrants are now prohibited in the city of Colleen. The six to one vote shocked me. You know, I wasn't expecting that many people on board. Jamika Reed, the sister of Scott Reed, who was shot and killed in a no knock warrant in Colleen back in February of 2019, says the vote is a right step, but it won't bring her family justice. Banning no knock, no knock warrants really not gonna make a big difference in that case once we go to court. John Wilkerson with the Texas Municipal Police Association says this vote does more harm than good. Now what, what we're saying is, is, okay, officers, we understand you deal with the evil part of society, and now we want to take away tools that allow you to return home safely to your families. Killeen Police Chief Charles Kimball says having that tool in their back pocket without eliminating it completely would be a good thing. When you take something away, we may need it. I like having all my tools available to me. I have a, a professional staff. I have a professional SWAT team. Uh, we have a lot of checks and balances, and I like to keep that in, in, in place. Council member Steve Harris of District 4 voted against getting rid of the no-knock warrants because he believes the people of Killeen should make that decision in the November election. I'm not speaking for it. I'm not speaking against it. I'm speaking for the citizens being able to make the decision because this is our job. We represent them and, and we let them make these kind of decisions. Those who wanted no knock warrants eliminated can now breathe a sigh of relief. This had been brought to the council so many times and uh, even other people brought it up. Uh, and it just keeps getting knocked back down. So I'm just happy that, you know, it's finally over. The ordinance says no peace officer employed by the city of Killeen can request, execute, or participate in a no-knock warrant. If that is violated, that peace officer will be subject to discipline. In the studio, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.